Testing, testing, testing. Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer and Sagittarius. This is your September forecast. I can't wait to share it with you. I've got a couple of announcements first and I hope you enjoy them uh, I, and, and that you'll take advantage of them. Okay, first of all, the world is crazy, have you noticed? We can't count on anything or anybody to say or do what they say they're going to do. And what occurred to me, particularly so right now, since Mercury is going to go retrograde in September, is that it's time for me to offer my September special, which is um, a, either a six month forecast or a 12 month forecast for you based on your exact minute of birth, month, day and year and city of birth. Um, and of course the exact time of birth. I have found that I get great comfort from my astrological forecast. I do it all the time. And I know that at times like these, it is wonderful for you to have your own personal forecast. So I'm offering either a six month forecast or a 12 month forecast at great savings. If you will go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com and order the forecast of your choice. I think you'll be very pleased that you did because it will give you a roadmap to follow based on you and you alone. Not everybody born under your sun sign, you and you alone. Um, so you're going to find it very, very helpful at times like these to have your forecast. So this is something I'm I don't usually offer specials, but I feel like it's real important right now. Okay, that's announcement number one. Number two, some of you have been waiting for this. This is the announcement about my latest book, Your First Sexual Imprinting. This is not an astrology book. It goes beyond astrology. It is written as a personal empowerment book for women. In it, I share my Take Back Your Life system, which is so powerful and helps you get through all kinds of trauma and release them. Now, the thing is, the first sexual imprinting is your first sexual experience. And in interviewing women for over 50 years, what I have seen that so many women have negative imprinting when it comes to sexuality. Um, this imprinting began when they were little kids, little girls, and they didn't have the verb, uh, the, the, the language to express what had happened, but they knew that something was wrong and it has set the tone for the rest of their life. And so I wrote this book for women. Um, and I hope that you find it very helpful. I haven't even gotten my copy of it yet. I only have the proof. Um, and I suggest that you go to Amazon and get a copy because it's available on amazon.com. Now, it's entirely possible that just hearing me talk about this you might want to have a private one-on-one -on -one session with me to carry you through your own imprinting. Uh, many of the stories in, in my book, uh, well, all the stories are true and they're all anonymous. And if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me, just go to my website and go to the spiritual coaching tab and set up a time 
where you and I can get online together on Zoom and I can carry you step by step by step through releasing your first sexual imprinting. It can transform your life. Okay. Now, Sagittarius, let's talk about what's going on in September. Well, a lot is going on in September. Um, on the new moon, that is when Mercury enters the shadow of the retrograde. And Mercury is going to stay retrograde all during September and through about halfway into October. And what this means is that everything is unsettled. When Mercury is retrograde, we do not start new projects. Instead, we tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects because what we start on a retrograde Mercury either fizzles out completely or has to be redone within the year. So what we want to do is tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects. I hope this is making sense now. Um, and when we do that, we are using the retrograde Mercury intelligently. It is going to be crazy. It's going to be unsettled. It is not you. It's the whole wide world because when Mercury goes retrograde, it goes retrograde all over the world. And that's why we are in this together. We are one. Now, this means that everything I'm going to say about your forecast is colored by the retrograde Mercury, which goes retrograde in your 11th house of friends and hopes and wishes and humanitarian projects. It's really quite lovely, Sag. Um, but it's unsettled. Mercury will come out of the shadow of the retrograde and actually go retrograde on the 27th of September and continue through October. And we will talk about that next month in October. And so everything is unsettled. During this time, the sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life, is in your 10th house of career. You're in a position of leadership, so move up to the top. And on the 22nd, the sun goes into your 11th house and you can um, assert your leadership in groups of people, with friends, in humanitarian projects. Mars, the red planet, what we fight with and fight for, it's what comes first to us. Mars is in your 10th house, and when Mars is in your 10th, move upward. Now you might say, well, what if I get offered a position, an advancement uh, with Mars in my 10th house, and Mercury is retrograde? Do I take an, on a new position? That's a very good question. I can't make that decision for you. Uh, but you do not want to start a new project on a retrograde Mercury if you can help it. Because you have to redo it during the year. Okay. So you're in a position of leadership. And then on the 14th, Mars moves into your 11th house. And you're passionate about humanitarian projects and humanitarian um, groups and being a friend in general. Now, Venus, the pink planet, is what we love. And it's in your 11th house of friends. And so you're really enjoying being with your friends till about the 10th when Venus moves into your 12th house and you say, go away world, I need my solitude and privacy whether it's to pursue a personal relationship or just be alone. You want your solitude and your privacy. The new moon on the sixth is in your 10th house and encourages you to move upward. So my suggestion would be that you do that, okay? And two weeks later on the full moon, on the 20th of September, it's in your fourth house of home family, 
and real estate and emotional situations with family members can come to a head. Domestic issues can come to a head. It doesn't mean it's gonna be World War III. It just means they come to a head. And so this is what your month looks like. And if Mercury were not retrograde, it would not be quite as confused. So join me next month when once again, I take a look at your forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.